Welcome for the session of bending stress and shear stress. Let us move for the content. Here we are discussing standard sections. First rectangle of side B and D. Area of the rectangle is B into D. Whereas the moment of inertia about centroidal axis X is BD cube over 12. For hollow rectangle, area of this is capital B into D minus small b into D. For moment of inertia about X axis, b into d cube minus small b into d cube over 12. For circle of diameter d, area is pi by 4 into d square and i about x and y axis is pi by 64 into d raised to 4. For hollow circular section, area of the circle is pi by 4 into capital D square minus small d square and moment of inertia about x and y axis is pi by 64 into capital d raised to 4 minus small d raised to 4. Here we learn moment of inertia of some standard section which is useful to determine the bending stress and shear stress. Let us discuss standard beam conditions when a simply supported beam is subjected to a central point load and maximum bending moment at center is WL over 4. For second condition simply supported beam with UDL so RA and RB is WL by 2 whereas maximum bending moment is WL square by 8. Third beam condition is cantilever beam with point load acting at free end. So reaction is W and maximum bending moment at fixed end is W into L. Last cantilever beam with uniformly distributed load. Reaction is W into L and maximum bending moment W L square by 8. So these are some standard beam conditions we have which is useful to determine the maximum bending moment which is prerequisites for bending stress and shear stress. Let us solve some problem based on standard section and standard beam condition. Here is the first problem. A simply supported beam of span 3 meter which is subjected to a 10 kN load. Along with this cross section of beam is given 50 mm into 100 mm and you have to determine the bending stress. Let us move for the answer. Bending equation is with me that is m by i is equal to sigma b by y. Here my intention is to calculate bending stress so m i and y are the three things which are required for maximum bending moment simply supported beam is given of span 3 meter along with this a point load of 10 kN is acting at center so formula for maximum bending moment is w l by 4 w as 10 and length as 4 so i get m is equal to 7.5 kN meter let us move for next i rectangular section of 50 by 100 mm is given. I am putting the value of B 50 and D 100 in this equation. I get I value 4.16 into 10 raised to power 6 mm raised to 4. Excellent. Y is the distance of extreme layer with central axis. So that is D by 2 over here. If I put D value in this equation, I get Y is equal to 50 mm. Super. We are reaching to the final condition. Here is an important point. So we need to have a balancing of this unit kilo newton into newton 10 raised to 3 meter into mm 10 raised to 3 so 7.5 into 10 raised to power 6 newton mm if i simplify this equation i get sigma b is 90.14 newton per mm square let us move for next problem which have some different cross section along with different beam condition as per the previous problem we have bending stress equation here m by i is equal to sigma b by y simply supported beam is given of 3 meter span along with this the UDL is acting kilo newton per meter. So formula of maximum bending moment is WL square by 8. I will put the value of W and L in this equation. I get maximum bending moment as 11.25 kilo newton meter. Excellent. Let us move for moment of inertia of circular section of diameter 100 mm. So here is my central axis. I value is 5 by 64 into d raised to 4 as circular section is here. If I put the value of diameter 100 here, I get I as 4.9 into 10 raised to power 6 mm raised to 4. Okay, diameter is 100, so Y is equal to 50 mm. Okay, super. We are reaching up to the final equation. My intention is to my intention is here to determine the sigma b. It is important to balance the unit. So here you see I have converted the unit. 11.25 kN meter into 11.25 into 10 raised to power 6 newton mm. If I simplify this equation, I get bending stress 114.7 newton per mm square. 
Excellent. So here we have to balance the unit so that you will get the correct value of sigma b. Let us move for next problem. Here cantilever beam is given of span 3 meter which is subjected to a load of w kN which is at free end. The value of bending stress is given that is 50 newton per mm square. The cross section of beam is hollow rectangular with inside thickness of 10 mm. I have a bending equation m by i is equal to sigma b by y. Here cantilever beam is given of span 3 meter carrying n point toward of w kN. Let us have a formula of maximum bending moment that is w into l. As w value is not known to me so m is equal to 3w kN meter. Moment of inertia of hollow rectangular section. Here if I subtract the value of thickness from 100 as well as 200 I get the value of interior side that is small b as 80 and small d as 180. If I put the value in the equation I have i value as 27.8 into 10 raised to power 6 mm raised to 4. Excellent. My y value is d by 2 that is 100 mm. Okay. I am putting the value of m, i and y in the equation. Here again we have converted the unit as we have 3w kilonewton meter we have converted into 3w into 10 raised to power 6 newton mm. If I simplify this equation, we get W is equal to 4.63 Newton. Let us move for the final problem on the basis of cantilever beam along with hollow circular cross section. Here a cantilever beam is given. We have to determine the beam span over here. 100 mm and 50 mm diameters of hollow circular section is given here. Let us move for the solution. Bending equation as usual with me. So I am going for maximum bending moment cantilever beam is given of span L meter along with this 10 kN per meter is the value of UDL. Formula for maximum bending moment W S square by 2. If we put the value of W as 10 and L is unknown to me so I get M is 5 L square kN meter. Here we are going for moment of inertia of hollow circular section. This is my central axis. Now I is pi by 64 into capital D raised to 4 minus small d raised to 4 putting the value of capital D as 100, small d as 50, then i is 4.6 into 10 raised to power 6 mm raised to 4. Last is y, y is equal to d by 2, so that is 50. Now put the value of m, i and y in the equation by taking care of conversion of unit. So here phi l square kilonewton meter is given, so I convert it into newton mm that is multiplying factor as 10 raised to 6. If I simplify this equation, I get L is equal to 0 0.95 mm, that is 959 meter. Excellent. Okay, let us move for the important part over here. Now here I have drawn rectangle, circle, hollow rectangle and hollow circular section. Let us mark the axis of this. Now we have simply supported beam. Let us learn the bending stress distribution with simply supported beam. If I apply the load on the beam, it will get deflected like this. This line represents zero bending stress. Upper part of beam is subjected to compression and lower part of beam is subjected to tension as you can observe here. Here you can find compression and tension which is opposite in direction. If we join this part, sigma c and sigma t are the nature of bending stress which is rectangle, circle, hollow rectangle, hollow circle for a cantilever beam subjected to a point load at free end. Upper part of beam is subjected to tension and lower part is of compression. This line represents zero bending stress. As usual, these are tensile and compressive stress lines. If I join this line, I can represent the nature of bending stress that is tensile and compressive over here. So the relation of tensile and the relation of simply supported and cantilever beam is exactly opposite. So key point to remember, bending stress at neutral axis is always zero. Similarly, the bending stress at extreme fiber is always maximum. Let us learn something about section modulus. So it is the ratio of moment of inertia to the distance of extreme layer of section to the neutral axis. So it is denoted by letter Z. Z is equal to I by Y. I is moment of inertia. Y is distance of extreme layer from neutral axis. Let us take example of rectangular section of depth T. Neutral axis is marked over here. So if we simplify this equation, we get z in x direction is pd square divided by 6. Excellent. Here we learn four number of problems. 
bending stress distribution section modulus hope you enjoy the session we will meet with some interesting session thank you